everyone, this is Teacher Phoebe and welcome to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to multiply fractions. But first, let us recall what are fractions. Fractions represent a numerical value that expresses a part of a whole. For us to multiply fractions, let us follow these steps. First, multiply the numerators. Second, multiply the denominators. And third, simplify the fraction if possible. Let us have an example. 3 fourths multiplied by 2 thirds is equal to n. Let us do the step 1. Multiply the numerators. We are going to multiply 3 by 2 and the product is 6. Now let us do the second step which is multiply the denominators. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. And for the last step, let us simplify the fraction if possible. Let us get the factors of 6 and 12. The factors of 6 are 6, 1, 2, and 3. For 12, we have 12, 1, 6, 2, 3, and 4. The highest common factor of 6 and 12 is 6. To simplify our fraction, we are going to divide 6 by 6 and the answer is 1. 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. Therefore, the product of 3 fourths and 2 thirds is 6 twelfths or 1 half. Let us have another example. 2 sevenths multiplied by 3 fourths is equal to n. Let us do the step 1. We are going to multiply the numerators. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. For step 2, let us multiply the denominators. 7 times 4 is equal to 28. And for the last step, let us simplify our fraction if possible. Let us get the factors of 6 and 28. The factors of 6 are 6, 1, 2, and 3. The factors of 28 are 28, 1, 14, 2, 7, and 4. The highest common factor of 6 and 28 is 2. To simplify the fraction 6 over 28, we are going to divide 6 by 2 and the answer is 3. 28 divided by 2 and the answer is 14. Therefore, the product of 2 sevenths and 3 fourths is equal to 6 over 28 or 3 over 14. And for the last example, let us get the product of 2 fifths and 1 third. Let us do the step 1. Multiply the numerators. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. For step 2, let us multiply the denominators. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. For the last step, let us simplify the fraction if possible. Since 2 and 15 does not have common factors aside from 1, the simplified product of 2 fifths and 1 third is 2 over 15. Remember, to get the product of fractions, all you have to do is first, multiply the numerators, second, multiply the denominators, and third, simplify the fraction if possible. Let us have some practice on what you've learned in this video. One third times one half is equal to n. And 
The correct answer is one sixth. Let us get the product of two fifths and two thirds. The correct answer is 4 over 15. And for the last example, let us get the product of 3 fourths and 2 fifths. And the correct answer is 6 over 20 or 3 tenths. Remember, to get the product of fractions, all you have to do is first, multiply the numerators, second, multiply the denominators, and third, simplify the fraction if possible. Did you enjoy the lesson? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell on this channel for more updates. Thank you for watching. Bye!